everyone, hope you're all doing well. So I'm back here today at Wheel Kitty. I know that I ride here a lot, but actually on a day like today, when it's really windy and stuff, but there's also uh, not too much rain and there's some sunshine, you're really sheltered by the hills and everything around here. So actually there's an opportunity to have a good ride because I tried riding in Camborne just earlier and it was so windy, I just, I couldn't even get the tripod out. So I'm back up here. I'm actually on one of the lower little terrace bits that I don't usually come and ride at. So I'm gonna have a little hop around this bit first and then go back up the top because obviously in the last few videos you'd have seen I was up there with the brush cutter and the chainsaw and stuff clearing some things out and I've had a few hops on the new uh, well the new to me short Kruger's 1065 bike but I haven't really had a chance to take it out on some really aggressive streety stuff which is exactly what this is for so uh, yeah just gonna have a hop around down here to start with and then move up the top thank you all to everyone who has subscribed if you haven't already please do go and hit that button and uh, yeah let's have another hop around here at Wheel Kitty Now the last time I did this gap was actually on the clean uh, quite some time ago so um, and I've been neglecting gap jumps a little bit recently but I do need to get back into them so hopefully I can dispatch this one with some relative ease but we'll see how misguided I am. It looks a very long way away but I just have to remember to kick. Whoa, there we go. Straight across first time. That was all right. Oh. I do remember when I actually did that on the clean. I think I went there, turned around and went back. I don't know if that's uh, gonna be on the cards for today. But um, yeah, oh. hand still a little bit jiffy. Let's see if I can do it the other way. Whoa. I literally dropped off the edge there a little bit and didn't quite get the kick. I think the hoodie's going to have to come off as nice as the heatsink hoodie is. Got the lovely De Rosa jersey. I absolutely love this thing. It's so nice and warm, but uh, looks cool, which is very important. It's a little bit windy there. Didn't like that. Whoa! Flew across that, just felt a bit... Uh, misguided Whoa! again it is just so weird get on it that way go across it first time no problem going back i don't even think it's a different sized gap i think just the takeoff is a bit different but oh we'll get it look at that straight over bit windy to go back but yeah that just worked Beautiful. Maybe see if we can get a different angle of that. Whoa, not quite. Oh, don't know what happened there. Whoa. Whoa, that was a surprise even to me. Felt a spoke detention slightly there. That feels weird. Feels really unbalanced, not holding onto the front brake. There we go. Right, I think that'll do. Let's go back up the top. Right, well, we're doing okay with the gap jumps down there, so I guess let's give this old classic a go. Now, funnily enough, the last time I was here, I didn't manage to make this one, but the time before when it was like Boxing Day, I did it like, eight times um, but this is the first time on the shorter bike so let's see what difference it makes whoa felt quite nice for a first go whoa 
Whoa. <laughs> I was there, I was on it. Whoa. I don't know what the hell I did there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and a bit. About my limit. What the hell? Feels like I'm getting worse. There we go. I think that's honestly one of my biggest problems now is being afraid of using the power that I have. Sounds very dramatic, I know, but what I mean is like, I've got the force to kick across it, but for some reason the connection between my brain and my legs to say, go, like, full throttle, doesn't always seem to get there. But let's try it again and see if I can make that same thing happen. <laughs> A little bit skewiff, but made it. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to get it back like I used So basically, I just like stopped for a minute there because I was getting a bit worked up. I've done this big gap here. I've done a couple of other things, but then I just, I just found I've just run out of, I feel like I've run out of energy, run out of coordination, run out of everything a little bit. And I get this a lot, like things that I've done dozens, if not hundreds of times before, are just evading me a bit. And um, I'm getting this more often. I think it's possibly because I'm getting older, um, 37 now, so getting closer to 40. Um, and the muscle memory just isn't there anymore from what it used to be. So I was gonna just pack up and go home and call that a day and write off this video. But I thought, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to basics because what I usually do when I get here is I go and do a couple of the gaps over there and I do some of the smaller stuff and get myself warmed up. But today I just went straight into doing basically big gaps and thought, right, yeah, I'm on a roll. And my body's kind of rejecting that idea a bit. So I am, um, yeah, just gonna rewind a bit, take a moment, and I'm gonna go and try some of the other smaller stuff that I usually would warm up on and see if that helps at all. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. And maybe the today is just like a conditioning ride where, you know, I've done some stuff that I'm sort of proud and happy of. I haven't done anything new, but um, yeah, I'm gonna see how that works out. So yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh no! Failed at the last hurdle, right. Let's try again. Oh no! Oh god. Oh. I do not know what is going on with me today. Oh. 
Thank goodness for that. Oh, that felt better. Right, let's try some other stuff. So, yeah, clearly that was not my best ride at Wheel Kitty that I've ever had. Um, might even have been one of the worst. And I, but I'm not going to call it a wasted day. I, I just struggle sometimes to really jump. My legs don't really seem to have the push and the kick in them that they used to. And I think, I, I don't think that's just down to age. I think it's, well, I think it is down to age, but I think there's things that I could do differently. I could have had some water. I didn't take any with me. That was silly and I used to eat loads of bananas. I don't really do that anymore, but they are really good because they provide potassium, which makes your muscles uh, relax a bit more so that they can spring a bit easier. Um, but yeah, and it was also really windy, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break on that. But either way, um, I'm really glad you enjoyed this video. Uh, if, well, if you enjoyed it, I'm really glad you watched it either way. And uh, if you wanna see a slightly better video of me, um, there's the slippery slow-mo one, which was a while ago uh, where I was riding in the rain, um, sort of rain, it was a bit damp, but um, either way. I'm gonna stop babbling now. Thank you so much for watching uh, me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, please do go and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week for whatever we've got then. All right, thanks so much. Take care, bye-bye. See, Beaver in the camera there. So another big thank you from me for watching all the way through this video, which I know was probably a little bit disappointing as videos go, but I still think it was a really important video to make. And to make up for the lack of what I would call quality riding in this video, here is a sneak peek of what is gonna be on the channel in the next couple of weeks, which hopefully gives you a clue that I'm back to some kind of high standard of riding and also uh, encourages you to stay subscribed. All right, thanks very much, enjoy.